the U.S. silver medalist behind Michelle Kwan this year in the senior level. And at U.S. Nationals, you remember, she beat Kwan in the short program. And there was really no question there. She had poise. She had everything that she needed to do that. She opens up with the first of the jumps with the triple flip, double toe combination. She's been struggling a little bit in practice on some of these jumps. But here she pulls off a nice triple flip, double toe. And really here in her spiral sequence, just look at this position. It's just there. There's no working into the position. It's just extraordinary. The stretch, the flexibility. Beautiful. That's just amazing. <laughs> and her flexibility is beautiful, but she has the strength to substantiate it there. And you see her touch her head to her foot. It's a very elegant look out there. Her coach, John Nix, says it's impossible for her to have an ugly position on the ice. I have to agree. This next element will be the mo one of the most important elements, the footwork into the triple lutz. Oh, a little trouble on that. Couldn't, didn't quite get the height that she needed to get out on that landing. Mandatory four tenths of a point deduction on the first mark. Sasha did not have a great skate in the qualifying round, and we thought she looked a little tight during the warm-up. Yeah, she, she did. She looked a little bit nervous during the warm-up. Deanna Stellato and Jennifer Kirk have had a little more experience on the international front this year. They've been out there a couple of times. A trip to the Grand Prix Final. Ooh, also a little trouble on that double axle. And she is so capable. I just think a lot of the confidence is missing. Well, I think she's had some shaky practices here, and I think that's really kind of shaking her confidence a little bit. We talked earlier about the pressure on Sasha Cohen. Because of her age, she is restricted from going to the Senior Worlds unless she medals here at the Junior Competition. And if she were to medal, that would be three major competitions in a span of about five weeks. So uh, it's a lot for a 15-year-old. Very tough schedule. It's such a shame that she struggled with those two jumps because she is such a lovely skater and offers so much more artistry than anyone else. Well, you can see the disappointment on Sasha Cohen's face. You could tell she knows that there's so much more that she can do. The one thing I've noticed about her is that once something goes wrong, it seems to have a cascading effect. She's not able to pick up and let it go. And that, again, is the experience and the confidence that you gain through these international trips. Coming in here to her footwork into the triple lutz, you can see right here on the takeoff, she doesn't quite get the height that she needs right there in order to complete the rotation. Her feet get a little bit tangled. Here's another look at the triple lutz. You can see right here, she doesn't quite get up in the air high enough to get her feet out on the landing. She just has such beautiful control going in and out of her elements. She gets fairly nice lift here, but you can see her chest drops forward. She's not on the right part of the blade and just can't get that good ride out on the exit. When you fail on a required element, it is a large and mandatory deduction in the short program. And here now are the marks for required elements. Marks for required element. Four, five. Four, six. Four, five. I think the 3.9 is just a little bit low considering her spins were excellent and all the elements other than the two jumps were perfectly executed. Right. Well, I think I think the second marks will go up because her skating, like you say, is, you know, is so elegant and so great. And the second set of marks for presentation do indeed go up. 
but she is eighth place in the short program and her chances of meddling here are in danger. Five, one, five, five.